as common denominator. Today we will learn about adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. When adding and subtracting fractions, denominators have to be the same. When denominators are not the same, we have to change them. For example, adding one-fourth and one-third are not possible until both denominators are equal. To find a common denominator, we have to find the multiples of 4 and 3. Multiples are the numbers we get when we skip count. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, etc. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and so on and so on. By looking at these lists, we can see that 3 and 4 have 12 and 24 in common. Which one should we use? By experience, I know that we should use the lowest common denominator, because the higher common denominator will require more work after we add the fractions. By choosing the lowest common denominator, we will eliminate a few steps to our procedure. We'll choose 12. Now we have to convert fourths and thirds into twelfths. To do this, we have to multiply each denominator by a number to get the new denominator of 12. 4 times 3 will equal 12. Now that we have multiplied the denominator by 3, we also have to multiply the numerator by 3. 1 times 3 equals 3. 1 fourth is now 3 twelfths. Now we have to change 1 third into twelfths. 3 times 4 equals 12. Because we multiplied the denominator by 4, we have to multiply the numerator by the same number. 1 times 4 equals 4. 1 third is now 4 twelfths. The math problem now turns into 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths. Because the denominators are the same, we can add the numerators and get the sum of 7 twelfths. Here's another example, but with subtraction. 1 half minus 2 fifths. We can't do it because the denominators are not equal. We have to find the lowest common denominator, or the LCD for short. The multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. The multiples of 5 are 5 and 10. The LCD is 10. Change 1 half into a fraction with a 10 as a denominator. 2 times what will give you 10? 5. Multiply both the denominator and the numerator by 5 to get 5 tenths. Now change 2 fifths into a fraction with the new LCD. 5 times what equals 10? 2. 5 times 2 equals 10. Multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 to get 4 tenths. Now because both denominators are equal, we can subtract. 5 tenths minus 4 tenths equals 1 tenth. If you would like more practice with adding and subtracting fractions, Download a worksheet from my website, www.mathdad.com.